Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chukun on Soul Captures, aka Mazi. Check on, check on, aka the photo cosmetic surgeon. Welcome back to Photo Lab and welcome back to another YouTube video. Alright, thank you very much for your support of this YouTube channel thus far. I really appreciate it. So, you're looking at the uh, the thumbnail picture, you're looking at the caption, you might be a um, a new photographer, amateur photographer, interested in the industry and things like that. You want to buy your first camera, but you're not exactly sure what type of camera to get. You've probably done a little bit of research online, you've heard some acronyms, people saying things like DSLR, people saying things like mirrorless and things like that. Um, so you're not exactly sure what type of camera to buy. One with a mirror, which is a DSLR, or without a mirror, which is mirrorless, right? So. I created this video just for you guys, just for you individuals who are um, just interested and curious to know what type of camera to purchase. This is actually a conundrum that um, a lot of a lot of photographers, um, I wouldn't say ch uh, ch or challenge with or struggle with, but they think about this a lot, right? There's a lot of debates in the industry about which one's better. This is actually a question that I had. Um, about what type of camera to get and it's a continuing question I bought different types of cameras in my career I actually own one of each I, I own a, uh, a DSLR the, um, this right here um, the D5300 is a DSLR and the one that I'm recording on right now the um, the, uh, the Z7 II is a mirrorless so I actually own both types and there are advantages and disadvantages for both types this question is the, um, the type of question that uh, I wanted to answer when I wanted to buy a new camera. So I'm going to jump right into it and show you guys a very good example of the differences between DSLR and a mirrorless camera and hopefully it makes a lot more sense. I'm going to hop on my laptop really quick and um, basically answer these questions for you because certain cameras are better for certain situations. So. I'm gonna hop right onto my laptop. I'm not gonna waste any time. And I'm gonna teach you a little bit more about the differences. And this is actually something that I went through and it helped me purchase the very camera that I'm recording this YouTube video on, okay? All right, so follow me to my laptop. Let's go. All right, so welcome to my laptop screen. Um, so basically this was a camera decision that I was trying to make. I think I just Googled uh, Nikon Z2 uh, versus Nikon D6 and at the time this is the website that came up and I found this website to be very very helpful um, both of these cameras came out I think the same year like around the same time yeah kind of yeah the same year you know what I'm saying not not too much of a difference I was just looking at the announcement date but I don't think I knew of the camera right at the announcement date I think I just um, had a need to upgrade upgrade some of my equipment and I looked on the Nikon website and I saw that both of these were the latest most high-end cameras um, uh, of both categories so this is a DSLR the D6 and this is a, um, a mirrorless the, uh, the Z7 II right so I was looking at both of these cameras I wasn't sure which one I wanted to buy right um, and this is kind of a question that comes up a lot, right? People ask, what type of camera should I get? What type of camera should I get? What is the best type of camera? And <laughs> it's kind of a cop out. I kind of feel weird saying this because I don't like it when people aren't able to give me a straight answer, you know, I feel like they're giving me the runaround. Um, and this is really one of those answers where it completely depends. It depends on what type of photography you are doing. Um, a lot of different cameras and a lot of different brands um, have their strengths and weaknesses right there is no one universal best camera a lot of it depends on the skill of the photographer really but there are certain cameras that you can try to try um, to focus on more uh, just depending on the type of photography that you're doing so I'm gonna go through some of the differences between these two and it just seemed it just uh, turned out that the, the Nikon Z7 II mirrorless camera worked out a lot better for my needs than the DSLR but this camera is the DSLR is uh, pretty good too so I'm gonna go through this and you can I'm gonna link this in the description below so you can look through this 
um, comparison and kind of um, align it with what your thought process is when you're looking for a camera, right? So um, these are just some basic specs. I'm not gonna go through all this. I don't want this video to be super long, but um, here are, I'm gonna focus on some of these areas right here. The reasons to choose the mirrorless camera over the DSLR. So this is the mirrorless, the, uh, the Z7 II. Um, one of the major things that was uh, important for me, cause I'm kind of always on the go. I like lightweight things is the weight. As you can see, the, uh, um, the Z7 II is uh, 705 grams and it's a lot lighter than the mirrorless, than the, uh, the DSLR. So whenever a camera has mirrors in it, it usually makes it a lot heavier. You know what I'm saying? And it's good to, I'm usually on the go. I'm on the go a lot. So I need, uh, a, it'd be nicer for me to have a lighter camera um, instead of one heavy. And when you're holding your camera up for a long periods of time, um, especially if, um, you know, if you're trying to get very interesting angles and things like that, it might make your hands tired, your wrists tired, and you don't want to do that. You know, if you're doing an event or something like that, it's, these cameras aren't extremely heavy, but if you're holding it for hours and hours, it's just not fun, right? So um, this is one of the things that made it a lot better for me. Um, the number of focus points on this camera definitely made it a lot better. Um, so there's more areas on, um, the the camera that um there are more areas on the frame of the picture that it can focus on more focus points to choose from so it's basically it makes the camera in layman's terms um more likely to get a nice sharp clean picture so the mirrorless camera had more focus points um webcam function i like that also too so that you know i can do things like this you know youtube and things like that and eye tracking focus. I like that a lot because basically it locks on it and it, it's able to auto detect someone's eye. You know what I'm saying? And kind of, um, you know, focus a lot better and a lot easier. So these were some of the reasons to get the, um, the, uh, the Z7 II. These are kind of some of the, the major ones for me. And then there are also reasons to get the, uh, the D6 over the Z7 II. So some of these might be important to you, right? Um, so for example, the battery life, you know what I'm saying? Battery life is very important. This, um, the, the D6 lasts for way more shots than the Z7 II. Uh, this eats up a whole lot of battery. My, I mean, I had to buy so many extra batteries for, for my camera. Um, and um, the, max ISO the max ISO setting. So this is basically how sensitive, the maximum sensitivity of the camera itself. You know what I'm saying? So um, this, ISO basically allows the camera to work way better um, at nighttime, you know. Um, it has illuminated buttons, so if you're doing a lot of like um, just shooting in the dark, maybe nature photography, nighttime photography, things like that, um, if that's important to you. Um, and there's just a whole lot of other settings here um, that may or may not be important to you. Uh, I'm not going to cover each and every single one, but Websites like this allow you to ask yourself the important questions. You know which are the important questions to ask in order to figure out what type of camera you want, right? Um, and of course, there's common strengths between the two, right? So if you wanted to know, if you wanted to ensure that no matter which one you choose, you're getting certain things, then this part of the website is helpful for you, right? Um, and this might spark some healthy debate or conversation between maybe you or your photography buddies um, so that you understand more about what you're getting yourself into. So wireless communication, Bluetooth, they both have that. Touch screen, if that's important to you, they both have that. Um, microphone port, like if you're doing a little bit of video. Um, see what else might be common things that are important to people. Um, Yeah, so, you know, just a whole bunch of things. I'm not going to go through each one. I don't want to bore you guys. But um, so going down towards the bottom, like I said, it's a lot smaller, a lot more compact. Um, the, uh, the D6 is humongous compared to uh, the Z7 II. This is the one that I have. Um, one of the reasons also that I didn't uh, want this camera is because it didn't have a like a flip out LCD screen. Um, the Z7 II 
7 does though, it has that flip out um, LCD screen. It doesn't rotate like my older camera, but it does flip out and it lets you get the types of angles that you want. This one does not have that. This is one, that's one of the major things that um, discouraged me from getting the, uh, the D6. So as you can see, more size comparison, thickness and weight comparison. As you see, everything is, uh, you, you know, you don't get everything that you want with one camera. And you don't necessarily need everything you want with one camera. But um, I'm gonna skip all the way to the bottom and it kind of gives you like a really good score, scoreboard, right? And this kind of tells you a little bit more about the types of photography, you know what I'm saying? So this will tell you, you basically can ask yourself, what type of photographer are you? And then it grades the two together. Um, I was kind of leaning towards the Z7 II anyway, but this kind of confirmed what I already wanted to, um, what I already knew from my research of the specifications. So I do a lot of for portrait photography and the Z7 II is way better for that because you know, it has things like image stabilization, electronic viewfinder, good ergonomics and things like that. It just means it's comfortable to use and things um, like that. And, um, <clears throat> and the D6 is okay, but as you can see, it didn't score as high. You know what I'm saying? This got an 80%, the, the one that I have, and D6 is, you know, is there. Street photography, I do a lot of that too. This one was amazing for that. Um, 96%, this, you know, um, excellent for that. Um, the D6, um, still like in that 60, 60 range, you know, 60 something. So I was like, okay, well, all right, makes sense. Sports photography, this is where it really shines. I think on the Nikon website, I did see the D6 advertised for a lot of sports photography. Um, so it's excellent for um, sports photography because of a lot of things like battery life and, um, you know, just other specs here like um, environmental ceiling and um, I remember there's something about the focus points, uh, the cross type focus points. Yeah, the cross type focus points and things like that. Um, this is something that it's still, um, still kind of confuses me a little bit. This, the, uh, the, the, 7 II, uh, the, the Z7 II has way more focus points but um, it doesn't specify the actual cross type, which are the more sensitive type of focus points. Um, but this one has, uh, basically I think all of its focus points are the cross type focus points, you know what I'm saying? So if you're watching this and you know the exact difference or you know exactly why, even though this has less, uh, the, the, um, the Z7 II has more focus points, um, the, um, the D6 is actually still better. Please feel free to write that in the comment section below. It's something I, you know, I researched and I kind of got it, you know, kind of got really convoluted and I got to a point where I was like, okay, I don't, I gotta I got just make a decision. I don't know if I uh, care that much, but um, I was just wondering exactly why, because I don't know everything about photography. But either way, there's a lot of things here that basically, um, if you're a lay person, if you're just starting out, it shows you, um, you know, what you have to choose depending on the type of photography. So I don't do a whole lot of sports photography. It's good to know that my camera, the, um, the Z7 II can, can do it. It's okay, you know, um, 75%, it's all right. Um, but this one is definitely, if you wanted to, if you're in my situation and you wanted to uh, do a lot of sports photography, you're heavy into that, then the D6 is definitely the better type of camera to, for you to get. Um, daily photography, um, just day-to-day -day stuff, maybe maybe personal photography or I don't know, anything like that. If that's the type of photography you're into, um, it's good. A lot of it um, has to do with like ergonomics, the body size and things like that. Um, Z7 II is better. And landscape photography, I also do some of that too. I usually um, use that for some artistic things, maybe some double exposure, some artistic pictures where I can um, merge a picture of a landscape to someone's face and make it look like really cool and stuff. So um, definitely like that for that. So either way, I mean, if you take a picture with both cameras, they'll both look, you know, decent. They'll both look good. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of different types of photography. But for what I wanted, Z7 II is better. And I think it also said it was better for the price as well, too. So um, yeah, I mean, overall, 
it gave the camera that I had been thinking about the entire time a little bit, you know, a higher score overall. And so that's why I chose it. So um, I hope this helped you. I know it definitely helped me uh, kind of make this camera decision and kind of understand exactly the way camera products and camera offerings are positioned in the market and um, just kind of give me more insights as a photographer as well too. So, you know, it takes some time, takes a little bit of patience to understand the stuff, you know, going through reading a bunch of forums and blogs, but you know, this definitely helped me out and I hope it helped you out as well too. All right, thank you. All right, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed watching this YouTube video as much as I enjoyed making it. So like I said, thank you for supporting this channel. Every like and every comment goes a very long way, so thank you so very much. What do you think about this? Is this a common question that you have? Um, do you agree with some of the, um, the uh, assertions and the opinions and things and stuff that I made? Do you agree with what's on the website? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, it's a very interesting debate between photographers. Um, kind of like, you know, uh, like I said, um, both types are very good for specific situations. And it really just depends on the type of photography that you want to do. But there's really good DSLRs out there, really good mirrorless cameras out there, right? So um, please share this with a friend, anyone who's also um, interested in photography. Um, subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, bell notification so that you know whenever I'm posting another video. Alright, thanks a lot guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks.